Mark Rogers TV, week six of our college football predictions coming off a nice 13 and five showing against the spread in which we hit both of our confidence picks. Alabama minus three and a half against Florida and also Clemson plus seven against Virginia Tech on the road. A game in which the Tigers, of course, won outright 23 to three. We're now nine and three in our confidence picks against the spread. So listen up for our confidence pick coming up a little bit later. We start on Thursday night with Oregon hosting Cal. Of course, the Golden Bears almost pulled off the monumental upset in losing by two at Cal Berkeley last year. Ducks squeezed by that time. They will win a little bit more comfortably, but we still like Cal plus the points. Take Cal plus 24. Oregon wins outright. On Friday night, Boise State, 20 and a half point pick against Fresno State. The Broncos, not just a gimmicky team these days. They have built up the line play both offensively and defensively to match Kellen Moore at quarterback. The Broncos, a dominant team, one of the top 10 in the country, will dominate Fresno State. So take the Broncos minus 20 and a half against the Bulldogs. Moving on to Saturday, the Red River rivalry, Oklahoma and Texas. Texas is Texas at 4-0. Oklahoma, a better football team, decidedly, but the Longhorns keep it close in this rivalry game. We like Texas plus 10. The Sooners do win it outright. Illinois, Indiana, the Illini still unbeaten, and they will remain undefeated. But Indiana typically plays well at home and nearly pulls off upsets in Big Ten play in Bloomington. They will come close, as Northwestern did last week against Illinois. Take the Hoosiers, plus 14.5 against Illinois, but Illinois remains undefeated. Bama, minus 29 against Vandy. No letdown here. The tide rolls, minus 29. Clemson, B.C., talk about a letdown. We would expect it out of Clemson coming off that death march in which they defeated Auburn, Florida State, and Virginia Tech. Okay, they're on the road and just came through those three tough, tough opponents. So expect a close first half, but that Clemson speed to make enough huge plays, big plays to break out in the second half and cover the 21 points at BC. West Virginia, Connecticut, Mountaineers win it, but not real big. Take the Huskies plus 20. We've got Arizona State and Utah, a big game in the Pac-12 with the Sun Devils looking to win a division championship, a four-point favorite on the road. Jordan Wynn, the Utah quarterback, is hobbling. The Sun Devil defense is special. They will take care of the football, and they will win it and win it by more than four. Arkansas-Auburn. Auburn went to South Carolina last week as a 10-point dog and won it outright. We expect the Arkansas offense to be too much for the Tigers, but... 10 points in the SEC among the quality teams in the SEC is way too much. Take Auburn plus 10. Take the Hogs straight up. Georgia Tech, Maryland, the Terrapins just plain horrible. After opening night against Miami, they have laid down specifically a 38-7 showing against Temple. We like Georgia Tech to cover 14 points at Maryland. We've got Stanford and Colorado. The Cardinal take it easy on the Buffs. Win it big, but Take the Buffs plus the 29 and a half. Virginia Tech, Miami. Miami's lost a couple times, but they lose close. And Virginia Tech has trouble scoring, i.e. three points against Clemson, against quality opponents. So take Virginia Tech, but take Miami plus seven and a half points. Oklahoma State, Kansas. This has like 55-17 written all over it. Take the Cowboys minus 31. Michigan, Northwestern confidence pick. Listen up. The Wolverines are not the 11th best team in the country. Yes, they beat uh, Minnesota 58-0. Yes, they beat Notre Dame, or it was handed to them at the big house. Yes, they are undefeated, but again, Michigan much improved, but still porous on defense, and especially if Dan Persa plays, as he did in throwing four touchdowns against Illinois before he had to leave with an injury, Northwestern is mighty dangerous at home. Michigan pulls out a win, but just barely take Northwestern plus seven and a half points in a confidence pick against Michigan. And don't be surprised if the Wildcats pull this one out. Michigan due for a loss. We've got uh, Baylor, Iowa State. The Bears 
bounced back after the loss last week to Kansas State and cover the 15 against the Cyclones. South Carolina, Kentucky, the Wildcats might be the worst team in the SEC. South Carolina, despite some dysfunction on offense, uh, covered 21 points against Kentucky. Florida State, Wake, way too much talent for the Knolls, despite some of their issues on offense. They cover 10 points on the road at Wake. A&M and Texas Tech, this is shootout. Neither defense can do much of anything. The offenses are fun to watch. So we go unconventional here. Take Texas A&M, even though they're on the road, even though they've got a bad defense, even though Texas Tech gets up for this game, we like A&M to win an exciting game by more than 8.5 points. Mizzou and Kansas State, the Wildcats, one of the undervalued teams in the country getting three and a half here if they were going to go on the road after the big win against Baylor we might expect a downer but we like Kansas State to keep up the momentum and to take out Mizzou take Kansas State plus three and a half points there LSU Florida this looked like a huge game a couple weeks ago now it looks like a mismatch with John Brantley probably not playing for Florida the Bayou Bengal defense one of the two best in the country, no doubt about it, along with the Crimson Tide of Alabama. This is going to be extremely difficult for the Gators to score. My only issue here with a 13.5 point spread is that Les Miles knows that he should not lose this game. He should play it close to the vest, take care of the football, and let his defense make plays and shut down Florida. But I still like the Bayou Bengals uh, wearing down the Florida front seven in the fourth quarter with a running game. The Florida defense is very good, and the front seven is smallish, though. So they will wear down in the fourth quarter. LSU tacks on some points and wins it, uh, let's say, 27-10. to 10. So they do cover 13.5. And, and finally, what was expected to be a huge game to open Nebraska's play after the Wisconsin game, their home play in the Big Ten against Ohio State, the Buckeyes, a mess in losing to Michigan State with about 100 yards of offense until garbage time on the last drive. The Buckeyes, they got the freshman at quarterback, or they go with the horrible senior Joe Bosserman, who looks like a high school player. The wideouts, uh, the least talented wideouts I've ever seen at Ohio State. The line could not block. Uh, the only thing they've got going for them is running back play at Ohio State, but in all that mess, something that was missed is that Ohio State still fields one of the best defenses in the country. Taylor Martinez is one-dimensional. We saw that come to play against Wisconsin. So yes, the Huskers win because the Buckeyes are such a mess on offense and the abysmal play will generally stay uh, intact for the Buckeyes, unfortunately for them, but they keep it close. Can you remember Ohio State being an 11-point favorite? We kind of went back in the record books. The closest we could find is going back to 1999 against uh, Penn State when the Nittany Lions were number one. The Buckeyes, a big underdog under John Cooper, an 11-point underdog on the road. Yes, the crowd will be overwhelming for either Bossomron or Miller, but we expect Ohio State's defense and some Buckeye pride, if they have any, to step up in this one. So Nebraska wins, but the Buckeyes keep it close. Take Ohio State plus 11. Would love to hear what you have to say about any of these picks, and specifically, again, Northwestern confidence pick plus 7.5 against Michigan on Mark Rogers TV.